Hey there everyone, this is Hitesh and back with another video. So you want to become an iOS developer, you gone ahead and you have bought a course which is 30 hours long and you might be thinking that hey, this course is 30 hours long, if I spend 1 hour daily within 30 days, I'll be a great iOS developer. Is that true? So how much the truth is behind such a concept and how much time does it take to become iOS developer? What are the tips for becoming an iOS developer and what are do's and don'ts to become an iOS developer? Talking all about this in this movie. Let's get started out here. Okay, so first thing first, I'm gonna give you a lot of tips in this movie that will help you to become a great iOS developer. The tip number one is gonna be something like have patience. You have bought a course that's great. It's a great way to get started out there. I'm not saying buy my course, uh, although it's a great course, but I'm just saying you have bought a course anywhere out there. That's completely good and it's a right way to get started out here. But if you're assuming that I'm going to be a great iOS developer within a matter of days, that is a wrong concept out there. It is not a matter of days what makes you a good developer. What makes you a great developer is the time that you have spent in programming. So don't expect there is going to some magic that's going to happen after taking this course. No, it's not going to happen. Yes, for sure. You're going to learn iOS developer with that course or my course out there, but you need to have patience. That's going to be tip number one. If you don't have patience, you can never, never become a great developer. That's harsh, but that's the truth. If you don't have patience. Now, tip number two is code daily. Now, you might have heard this term quite a lot by me in a lot of courses by me or by, by any other developer that if you are not going to code daily at the beginning stage, you are not going to be a great developer. Coding really, it takes a lot of time to grasp into the mind, but it takes really quickly to get out of the mind. So code daily, no matter is it a Christmas, Diwali or any other Halloween or whatever it is, just at least uh, for five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, solve a small problem, but code daily. Now coming back on to the iOS section. Now, if you're thinking that uh, the 30 hour course I'm going to take and it's going to take just 30 hours to do and I'll be a great developer after 30 hours, maybe after a month. Now, it is somewhat true, but not perfectly true. Why? Now, let's just assume. Now, the course that you're watching is, let's just say, of 30 hours, but it doesn't take 30 hours to prepare that course and deliver that course. It takes months and months to design and prepare assets and things for that course, almost two months or maybe sometime three months as well. So it's going to take some time to you. Now, my best advice would be to have an iPad or a screen or your mobile device or anything. Just watch it out there and on your PC or computer, just make sure you do exactly what it is being shown in that particular course or tutorial. Again, I'm not saying it should be my course. It should be done with each and every course that you are taking. Maybe an online tutorial, maybe a YouTube tutorial, anything, but make sure that you just perform exactly what it has been performing. Now, at first it might look like, hey, this is just a variable declaration or this is just a loop, I can do that. But believe me, when you write it by your hand, it's much more complicated than you are thinking. So always and always just put it onto one screen or pause the movie, go back onto your editor, Xcode, maybe you are learning anything out there. So go ahead, just do exactly what is being shown out there. Then again, go back, play it a little bit and then again perform. Now, this is going to take a little bit while, a little bit more. But believe me, you don't have to rewatch the movies if you're going to perform like that. So that's going to be my another tip. Do exactly what the instructor says to you. So believe in him and just go out there. OK, now how much time usually uh, my students take to uh, make sure that their app reaches to the app store or to the client that they are trying to deliver? Usually it takes around five to six months. And you might be saying, hey, that's too much of the time. But believe it or not, that's the truth. In just a couple of months or maybe one month or two months, you actually learn about the basics of the things like how to set up a table view or how to set up a recorder for your app or maybe for cameras and things like that. So within a couple of months, you just learn only those basics, including the Swift and everything. So let's just cover up then the two months. Now, in the next two months, you are actually spending a lot of time in solving the problem for the app that you really want to design. And yes, it takes another two months out there. So once you have designed a couple of apps that 
uses a lot of feature that you want to give into app and solved a lot of problem, of course, by using Stack Overflow, by friends, by instructor and tons of things like that. Then after, again, it takes one more month or a couple months more to actually reach out the client and to make sure that you are ready for uh, the development of such a scale out there. Again, a lot of people say, hey, it's gonna happen magically, but nothing magically happens in the code. We code, uh, like or instructors like me, code out really fast and charming like that. Why? Because we have practiced a lot. Uh, we have over 10 years of experience out there, or maybe some might uh, having a 20 years or 35 years of experience. They are just like pros in that. On top of that, still we do make mistakes. That's the truth. Uh, we try to eradicate the problems as less as possible, but still a lot of our code are kind of a mess, even sometimes hard to read by ourselves. But still, we try to make sure that when, when we prepare a video for you for, uh, let's just say a login system or Firebase system, we try to make sure that, yes, this is gonna get a flow like that. And yes, now let's just do it. So again, it's a whole lot process than you're thinking. I hope these advice are really, really helpful for you for getting started in iOS developer. I'm really excited that you are getting started in iOS developer. In case you need a little help, I'll put a link in the description below and with just a little or a minimum price, you can get a fantastic and a killer course out there that took a lot of time to design out there. But again, do subscribe, do like and post your comment what more you want to see or what more advice you want to see out there on this channel. Till then. See you and catch you on the next movie.